Hello guys, I am very excited to share with you my finished um, design team um, showcasing for Lady Eleanor's journal from um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. Thank you Debbie, uh, Debbie Ann. I just really appreciate and feel very privileged to um, to be showcasing your kits. I have loved making this. This was such a joy and it's probably the one of the fastest I've ever made a journal. Um, it, it's just so beautiful. I just it didn't need a latch or a closure so I thought I'd just put a little brooch. I made one of these little brooches and a bit of lace and so I'm just gonna take you through this beautiful beautiful oh this book is so gorgeous this uh is quite old it um is very similar in age to hang on i'll just go and grab it my um my personal journal which is white lilies um which has got the date 1901 on it and it's similar um but i think this is even older so i'd say it's probably late um 1800s something like that so um i'll take you through it uh, excuse me move forward um it is just gorgeous i've um, done a false back and i've kept this look at the little butterflies in there it's made by in london by hutchinson and co um it's just beautiful it's got a little bit of love to the back of it but that's okay because that adds to it just love it and this kit has just was made perfect um excuse me something's fallen down um for this kit like it was awesome for it um lady eleanor's journal is the kit that i used um and it's almost the way that i've done this journal is almost like in a story form um you know you can sort of make it up as you go i've put in a little bit of um lace and um, this is vintage lace and a bit of a bow and I put a picture of this is Lady Eleanor by how Debbie has designed it um, this is the original um, paper that was on the inside and I sort of put it through the back this is from the, the front cover um, of the Walks from Eden so um, and I put a bit of washi tape in there and then I utilised um, some of the pages as some of you may have seen in my previous video I utilized the um, excess from the pages so I'll put this down oh. I made some um, tags using Edith Holden this is original um, oh, the, this should, the, from the book the paper and um, some of the pages and they're all backed with um coffee dyed paper so i thought i'd just show you close up of that one and um they're all sort of similar to that so this is a tuck spot plenty of um writing space in this journal so this is lady eleanor and so i make up the story as i go this is when they got married it sort of has it had a bit of a, a story theme to the way that the paper and everything is designed i don't know if debbie had that in mind but it sort of um it, that lends itself to that it's really pretty I just love it and then put that paper on the other side and in here is one of the um, cards from the ephemera so this is you know um, Lady Eleanor's love letters from her husband so you can put in um, your own secret letters in there oh, oh, wrong way around that's it this way Oh. I just thought that looked really good like that. I wanted to, to um, not glue it in because I would like I wanted to use it and then utilize some of her ephemera as well and that went really well with it. Um, this is from my uh, Victorian flowers um, flower journal and because it's a Lady Eleanor's journal I thought I'll use it utilize the, the journal pages. This is from the ephemera so this is their first child <laughs> so to speak now the um this is vintage lace i've got in it as well because it's a very victorian style um i wanted to sort of have lace and all that kind of stuff isn't that beautiful it's just so pretty 
another tuck spot. This is from another book that I had um, and I got it because of the pictures and stuff on the inside. Um, more of the beautiful kit. It goes so beautifully. And that and inside. Some collaging. So I'm using some of her ephemera and that's from Edith Holden. It's got a real um, autumn feel about it, which is what I why I love it because it's autumn here. So more of the Victorian um, flowers and utilising what I had left over. Some more collage. This one's going sideways, the, the journal. Um, a poem about autumn from the ephemera. And I made up a, a bigger tag from Edith Holden. The colours and how everything, that's the, the beauty of having a kit. They just, it coordinates, which really speaks to me because I'm a bit of a stickler for making everything work um, cohesively together. This is um, the only bit that was left over from that front cover, that this paper. So I thought I'm going to use it as a tuck spot. And this is the centre, Edith Holden in the, uh, this is a, a poem about autumn. So I don't want to include some of her autumn pages. Now you can either put that down and use them as a tuck spot or leave it like that. I quite like it like that. So this is commemoration of maybe Lady Eleanor's birthday. Beautiful. It's got really, I love, I love this. Nice journaling space it's got. So that, this is maybe a, a picture of uh, her when she was younger or maybe one of her sisters. This is part of um, the ephemera that you get in the kit. More of the, that's the other side of that. Beautiful. Um, Victorian flowers, more collaging. It's just two pieces there. It's beautiful. Coffee dyed paper. So here's their maybe second child. They had a son. I think the other one might have been a daughter. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Using uh, vintage lace again and a stitching. And here a bit of the ephemera. And I made another, another one. I love that. I think that's an acorn. Um, I used pretty much the whole kit um, because it, it it's just I used most of it. You know, you only have to use a little bit, but I used all of the everything apart from one piece. It just works so well together. Um, really happy with how it turned out. Beautiful. Look at that. The dress. And the colours looks like eco dyeing. Going to maybe a sister's wedding. There you go. So that's the end of the first signature, and that's um, part of the original book as well. And as well as that, it's beautiful. So this is the contents page of the original book. So some of the ephemera. I haven't had. Um, I didn't put things in all of them, and that's a bit of washy to, have to give it strength. Lady Eleanor when she's a little bit older. Another letter. This is part of the ephemera as well. There you get a place that you can do a you know secret journaling. So put it back. I really love this this um this journal. It's just so beautiful. The fact that it's got this gorgeous cover really helps. Um, I am going to put this for sale on my Etsy store, but I'm like so reluctant to sell it. <laughs> it's one of those ones, oh, I don't know whether I want to or not. A bit more of the, um, the journal. There you go. Maybe Lady Eleanor's sister, family photo. More lace. Look at these, another birthday card. They used to make cards beautiful back in the day, even though this is ephemera. But I've got this because of the, um, the picture, sort of autumny picture and the leaves and everything on there. It just goes so well together. Beautiful. Vintage. Um, the ephemera, like some of the ephemera and then that, and this is from um, Edith Holden. Love the colouring. Beautiful. Now this is the, I think the cover 
of the the daily journal and creative publishing i think that's really cute like the name of the, the publishing company more collage another tag what is that and this i found that for edith holden that just worked so beautifully with this piece of ephemera hydrangea this is part of the ephemera i love that i love the rich it's obviously a spine of a book an old book um it just lends itself to that and here's more of a tag it just slotted in there beautifully this is the center more edith holden love it love her, ah, her artwork another part of the ephemera really like it the rich rich colors of autumn can't beat it i love it the journaling space family photo and then this was in with the ephemera and i put it in on in one of the with the paper clip because thought maybe this might be the check that they use for their deposit on their first home <laughs> you can really um use your imagination okay. there we go the treasury of victorian flowers i thought that it's a very victorian feel about it beautiful autumn autumn foliage so the other side made a tuck spot over one of the leaves utilized i had that was a leftover of the ribbon that i used at the front there wasn't a great deal so i'll put that in there that's another ephemera and it's just had part of the book and it had the garden that sort of looks lent itself to this being in there because it sort of looks like a garden some mushrooms roses how good is that the coloring that's left over i think from the middle page where is it see i'll just use everything that might be from the top i think yeah the top part there because i had to cut it to go to the size and then i utilize it there it just looks so good with the color so that's the beauty of i'm a very thrifty journaler and i am utilizing everything that matches that and then this matched that when i photocopied them um you know i like printed it off or printed the matching page on on the other side and this is the back page of from walks of eden and then i've got a vintage button with the very last bit of that lace and in here oh, it's gone right down is my um, business card and then it's a tuck spot on the top as well so i'll leave someone a message um, that buys it so this is going to be for sale on my etsy store um, this was a real labor of love and i enjoyed making this so much um, yeah it was beautiful and um, go and check out um ephemera's vintage gardens website which is linked below and go and check out her um other kits i was on there today and bought a couple myself like they're just so beautiful i don't usually use kits but um she's just such an amazing designer in the way she puts everything together and really goes with my style i love it so um, you'll be seeing more of me using more of her work. So, hey okay, guys, thank you very much. And I will catch you in upcoming videos. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. Bye, guys. Thanks.